Let's go to 1974 and Beyond the Door. Uh, summary for this film, uh, Juliet Mills plays a young pregnant woman in San Francisco who is going to have the devil's baby during her strange possession. Richard Johnson shows up to help her, but what does he really want? Written and directed by fuck, Ovidio G. Asanitis. I would call him Asinitis. That's what I would call him. Uh, Avio. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. I I hate that. I hate these names. Uh, He did 1981's Madhouse and Piranha 2 The Spawning. That was also written uh, by Robert Barrett. Uh, Do you have any information, Jason? Tagline A horrifying and blood chilling drama of possession. Uh, Distributed in the U.S. by Film Ventures International. And then Arrow just released a very nice set. I picked that up. It was a blind buy uh, just this year, nice. 2020. One good thing of 2020. Yeah. Um, evidently, this movie was sued. This production company was sued by Warner Brothers because they said it was a blatant ripoff of The Exorcist. That's crazy to me. Um, I think it's bullshit, too. They won. They won the evidently. They and, oh yeah, yeah. Um, there were some similarities, like the the vomit and the way she looked. I mean, it did resemble. Reagan. Well, let's let, let, let's stop right there, right there. Like, why did they push the pea soup thing so hard? Like, it, to I me, it know. seems like they were just being like, like almost th- like throwing it in their face. Yeah. Well, I, no, yeah. just like I like, bet they got so- money from Campbell. Oh, for sure. Like uh, hardcore kind product of, uh, placement. Homage to The Exorcist, or they. Well, this but, is this is one of but, those famous, you know, quote unquote ripoffs yeah. of The Exorcist. This was like, like it the just, Exorcist exploitation. At this time, it seemed like Exorcist if they wouldn't, huge. if they wouldn't have pushed the, the pea soup, the pea soup. Somewhere. I mean, yeah. why are you going? What's the, what other? I mean, you can't copyright no. like being possessed or yeah. your head spinning around. Like, That's what I was thinking. Look at all the like. What was the first movie that put out a? A monster or demon yeah. that crawled on a ceiling, like you, right. You, you, those movies aren't being called ripoffs, or well, just the first a vampire movie. Asian ghost that had long black hair, like yeah, they all do, but they're there not is, being called ripoffs. There is hardly anything. Any, there's hardly anything the same about those these two movies. Totally different feel. It's the look of the girl. It's the look of the yeah, girl, and but all the, still, and the man, she says and does. It's I mean, it's a year after The Exorcist that destroyed the box office. It's like and this. Everyone it's like, wanted to do this. It's that I mean, it, Robin Thicke I, I blurred see, lines I thing. <laughs> I, I just don't think that like the, it wasn't worth suing over. No, like no. to me, the only thing that really sticks out, like, is that, that I would personally be pissed off is the pea soup, mm. and and then I don't even know what like why they didn't have to do that, like yeah. If they if they wanted to rip off the movie or be inspired, like the pea soup had nothing to do with why The Exorcist was good, right? And they, and they, they seem to put a lot more effort into this. Like when they put this when this was in theaters, uh, and uh, they they hired actors to faint, and they had ambulance ambulances parked outside the theater. It was all just to drum up you know excitement for the movie, but. Um, I mean, even from the beginning, <laughs> I guess it's a voiceover of the devil. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But it's just completely different, even from the music side of things. It starts out with this funky '70s kind of. It's called "Bargain with the Devil." It comes. I I, I don't <coughs> like I don't like the song. There's a lot of stuff in the soundtrack I like I, I do enjoy, but um, not that. And it, I'll tell you what. This the, you're, speaking of the pea soup, the, this kid's drinking pea soup uh, with a straw out of a can okay first of all i have multiple problems with this because campbell's pea soup don't you have to add water to that is this kid drinking concentrated pea soup right am i right or wrong probably i don't i don't know i don't is it pre-made to drink like a weirdo <laughs> hey I, I, I'll, I'll be honest i don't add any water to my chicken noodle soup well i mean i just no, open a can is, is it up. from concentrate though or is it? I mean, it's a. It's not. I wouldn't say it's concentrate, but it's a little, yeah. a little heavy. I mean, it's meant to be thin. I mean, it's we- it's weird. Yeah. It Regardless weird. of what it, it is, is. <laughs> at first I thought it was tomato juice, and then I was like, oh my god! <laughs> like, this kid's just sucking soup. 
Suck what the pea hell? Soup. And then I was like, it's pea soup. And they, can act, like, can. they act like it's his own doing. Like they're not buying it and supplying it and buying a poster of the can to put in his room. Um, whatever. Um, that had to have been a that's knock. That's what again. I'm saying. A, like, a purposeful what? knock or they were Why sponsored. did they push it so hard? Yeah, they show it multiple times. I don't understand. Um, it, this is, of course, is a dubbed film, which is fun. I love a good dub. The kids sound weird as fuck. They they sound like they're uh, adult women, and they're assholes, both of them. Um, the uh, girl's got a mouth on her. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's, yeah. she's fucking jive cracker, that chick. And she's no one's saying nuts. a word. No one's yeah. no. saying a word. No, the husband character's sitting there reading a book <laughs> called The Fishes. I'm deeply engrossed in the incredible existences of fish, including their methods of reproduction. Fish, you know, have remarkable qualities. They're silent, clean, take up very little space, and invariably get along very well together. Clumsy ape. Just like you kids. Ken knocked it over, now there's nothing to bake in. They get on very well together. Oh, bullshit. Ken, pick it up, will you? Go stuff yourself, Gail. Pick it up or I'll stuff you in the oven instead of the cake. And he's talking about fish. What a boring asshole. <laughs> Did you know about this? <laughs> but I think there's a lot There's a lot of fun stuff in this. This is a great movie. I think I like it more than The Exorcist. And uh, I don't you know. know. You're, not, I, you're not the first person I've heard say that. I'm not. I've never been big on The Exorcist. Um mm. It, it, I, maybe it's because it's been I've watched it too many times. People always yeah. want to show you that, and that like, was just the first. That's the first movie that just scared the shit out of me. So it's just always gonna, yeah, it's always gonna stick with me. It's always gonna be, but but like I think Juliet Mills does a great job in this movie. Like this is why I think it's more. Um, she's not just doing like Reagan was basically demonic through the whole thing. She gets to mix two different things. She does like the Reagan kind of demon stuff, but when she's not possessed it's like uh, Rosemary's baby. It's like a combination mm -hmm. of the two things. And she does that far away straight ahead, like worried stare better than anybody. I mean, I, it, it's great. You can, she, she pulls the character off. Um, uh, <laughs> I guess the devil's a, like a really serious mouth breather breather. Like it was weird when he was like lurking, he was like, <sighs> Uh, and I'm like, that's got to be COPD or maybe uh, mesothelioma. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> maybe oh, mesothelioma yeah. if he's been around. The air some... quality can't be good. Yeah, yeah that's no true. Uh, just didn't think the devil was a breather. I don't know. Uh, what, what, what was with the weird kiss that she gives her son? Was that her passing some of the demon shit? or she did she so. heal him what what was going that was on? an open that was an open mouth kiss for sure for very long very long she passed the de i think the devil passed over to him because you know yeah. spoiler alert yeah there's obviously like what isn't there two sequels yeah but there's they're not really three yeah, yeah yeah i know there's a, i know it goes to like i know the part two was called something else before they tagged it with shock that's baba yeah um yeah, I, I did enjoy that. I, I maybe it's not better than the extras. Maybe I just enjoyed it more because this is the first time I've seen it, and it was different. I mean, there was an extensive scene where this guy was aggressively playing a nose flute. Uh, he was like a street musician and he was harassing that guy with his buddies. Uh, like shit, like that's not in the Exorcist. That's just a little flavor that I. It was just a lot of sp nice spice, a little weird shit. I uh, kind of bit of Italian flair. Yeah. Yep. Um, maybe that's what it is. It's a, it got that Italian oddity mm -hmm. to it uh, because she was back in this time. Everybody's voices were dubbed, anyways. Like right, like no matter whether you were speaking. Well, Italian, the, Italian's notorious. I mean, that's that's just the way it was. Right. I thought, but I, I thought in the seventies production, normally just to get the lines clear, they would always dub them over, no matter if it was an American production or what. Just regardless because she's she's matching up right on but some of these characters are a little off you know it is uh, it is funny to see the people that are actually good at it and then yeah it, like they it's like they, some of them can't remember how they deliver their lines at all <laughs> i don't know if it's months after they shot it or what but i don't know yeah i guess well, when it comes down to it i think that if like this were if 
if demon possession movies were music, the exorcist would be like classic rock. And this would be like some sort of weird, smooth jazz. It's the same thing playing the same song, just different versions of it. Kind of, I don't know. Eight out of 10. That's what I give it. I'm surprised. I honestly, I didn't, I didn't expect you to like this movie. So that's, that's I was kind of interested. man. Yeah, that's good. Um, yeah. So we got a seventies Italian possession movie. Like, I think if if you're a fan of any of those subgenres of horror, you should probably give this a watch. Um, this is my second viewing, and both times I've watched the uncut version, which is like ten minutes longer than the theatrical. But I haven't seen the theatrical, so I don't know what it's missing. I, I can't tell you the difference. Um, How long is I, the I, uncut version that you watched? Was it an hour forty five? Uh, I'm not sure. I just know it was 10 minutes. Hour. Oh, no, that's just on the. <laughs> well, I the don't one see on 2B... Okay. The one on TV was the hour 45 minute one. So I have a feeling that might be the uncut. I, it must be because the, the, the regular one's 98 minutes. Oh. So um, I don't know what the difference is, but um, it runs long. It, it's it's <laughs> really kind of much. <laughs> it kind of feels like a a, a, a heavy influence of, of Rosemary's Baby, mixed with uh, a bit a bit of The Omen. Like it's just a kind of a mashup of mm-hmm. three really good movies, um, but it having the Italian director. A totally different feel from 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 all of those movies. Um, the possession was effective. There's creepy elements. I like the soundtrack. the 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 band they have playing at the beginning. I like that they they have their music playing throughout the music. It's the uh, like funky disco I music. With the devil. Yeah, I, I, I like. <laughs> There's some weird uh, head scratching moments. It's kind of slow. It drags in some spots. Um, but I just don't don't expect the Exorcist again. Totally different feel, um, story. Everything develops differently. Uh, if you if you're a fan of Italian horror or possession movies, I say give it a go. I gave it yeah. an eight as well. Oh, one thing that I forgot to mention. I don't know how you guys feel. You everybody here is married. If your wife is spitting blood out, are you gonna be like, ah, we're cool? Uh, sit down. Just sit down. We'll be. We'll just wait it out. <laughs> yeah, no. no hospital was, right away. <laughs> that was nuts. crazy. Yeah. But anyways, John. Yeah. So, um, first time viewing for me. Love that the devil's the narrator. That was fun. The um, you know, this was I call it exorcist exploitation because exorcist blew the doors off the box office. Everyone wanted to imitate it, get something out there because it's big. Every you know, come see my movie. That's where this falls. Just the Italian, just like that. Um, what's the one? The the is it Pakistani Exorcist? It's oh God! Pokan. Yeah, that is. Bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you well, know, yeah. same time. You know this. And then they had Repossessed later. with Leslie Nielsen. Which, oh, uh, I love that. And Linda Blair playing yeah. the, the. I love that. I love mm-hmm. that movie. So funny. Um. I love seeing Richard Johnson. I, I zombie made me a fan of him. And I've just like, I haven't been like going on a journey or nothing, but I've seen a couple movies recently, including this and uh, the, the, the first, the haunting, I think it was the first, the black and white one. Hmm. Um, I don't know. Haunting of Hill house. It's the first one. Um, I liked uh, Gabrielle Lavia. He's a frequent Argento actor. He's the husband. Um, he just has a cool screen presence uh, when he's on. He he commands the screen. I like him a lot. Uh, <laughs> girl, man, she is way too hip for this movie. <laughs> what was and then and the fifteen copies of Love Story. What the fuck was that all about? And how would a parent no. cool with that? They didn't I know see, they're like a dollar. Right? It the almost cheap, but, didn't it like, almost seem like the kids had their own money somehow. <laughs> like the, the little boys buying pea soup and the little girl. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> uh, I 
Yeah, I almost thought and, and the first time I saw this, I kept waiting for like the 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 little girl to be the the one that was possessed. Mm. The way she or, or at least mention uh something about her being influenced by this devil or demon to where she just using profanity just like it's just normal to her like they don't they don't touch on that at all they just no nah, they're just cool with it <laughs> um <laughs> i liked uh that that i don't know why the the head turn creeped me out just like a just a smidge give me a oh i don't know why it didn't it's not that it looked better than the exorcist but it was i don't know Maybe it was the expression, and it was maybe a little bit dead on of of uh, with Juliet Mills, right? Is that her name? Mm, yeah. Right. It was a really the the effects were cool in this. Even even that uh, what did I say? I wrote ha that superimposed vomit at the end. Mm. You know <laughs> that was hilarious. It was just like just so out of place. It was Jaws 3D out of place. <laughs> like it was <laughs> it was it was out of place. Um. Everyone seemed okay with this accelerated pregnancy, don't you think? Yeah, pretty cool, pretty right? cool about it. They're, they're, the husband's like, oh, all right. Well, I'm gonna go read about fucking fish. Yeah, he was, he was definitely interested in not dealing with this at all. Any of it, any, yeah. any of it. He, yeah. he, he didn't want. He was just like, we'll just put her, we'll just keep her here for a little bit and. We'll see how things go. <laughs> you know, I'll talk to this dude about it, and maybe I don't know. Yeah. Um, the room. I said, "What was this?" The room freak out scene with the dolls and the kids. Mm. Uh, and then I even put, "What?" But what kid keeps so much Campbell soup around? <laughs> but I let. It was either a, the sponsor, like we we said, is either the sponsor or just to be like, we know it was pea soup. That's what they threw up and. Yeah. they were building up to it um but i mean this was a first a first time viewing for me i liked it richard johnson is a uh he he adds a lot and uh i gave it a seven it i felt like it ran long for an hour 45 that's a decent amount like yeah, this I- was long but it had drama to like uh, fill it. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? This did the the drama in this was not. Um, yeah, I want to I want to see the uh, the the, the 98 minute version. See if it if yeah. it, it seems a little bit better. Yeah, I have a feeling yeah. like all they cut out was just some talking. Because I mean, yeah, a lot of it was the bad relationship that happens. There was a lot to cut out. It's probably all the pea soup and and the, him and chucking the kids, cans out the back. I hope of the it's car. a lot of the kids talking. Yeah. Her cussing, ten minutes of her cussing. And, 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 you know, I I could see some trims happening, like w- involving the past relationship with this guy or whatever. Like that, see, all that stuff seemed a little. That was so weird. Yeah, that was Dem- so, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was a weird one. That was odd. Yeah. 